What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, bringing you a quick video tonight. Microsoft today announced Windows Insider Preview Build 20270 or 2270 for the dev channel as you see in front of you and with it it doesn't really have too many uh doesn't really have too many new features out of it the only thing that's highlighted right here is in fact a file skill for cortana so if you're one of the very very few two percent that uses cortana still this is a new feature that is out um, basically it allows you to search cortana and open up specific files using cortana that are saved on the PC. Now I'm gonna tell you right now before I demonstrate it, this thing does not work well at all. It is pretty horrible. Um, it needs a lot of help before it can be something that people might actually use, especially people who are very big fans of Cortana on the PC. But before I add that in, going on a little bit, these are some of the examples you can tell it to open marketing deck, uh, open budget Excel from Anthony. So you can open, uh, person specific documents um so if i made a document i can say open this specific document that i made um so open open planning from kwaku it'll do that if i had that kind of file um and then you can say open recent files find my recent pdfs and so on also another feature here it says new advanced view checkbox in optimized drives is now up and running checking it will display volumes previously not visible in this window for example, system and recovery partitions. And then also the little change and slash improvement is now the touch keyboard when you're in portrait posture or orientation on two and one devices that are touch screen, they now support a split screen keyboard. Um, but this was released to the beta channel as part of the recent Windows feature experience pack update. So I guess now uh, they added it into the dev channel people because sometimes we don't get everything that is cutting edge. And then they got a few fixes, a bunch of fixes, um, displaying black text when opening dialogues such as properties, displaying black text on recent flights, um, when certain apps would unexpectedly close, when you make it maximize it. Uh, they, re they fixed the issue where Japanese characters would not display correctly on scanners and printer settings. Um, and then they also fixed another feature that would cause some delay when you log into your PC with a large number of users. So if you're one of those people who have like 15 users on your computer, which I am not, um, they solved that problem so that it doesn't cause a big delay. And then they have some known issues here that they're still working on. I'm not going to get too deep into it, but you can pause the screen or go to the website link below and you can take a look at the whole entire changes log. But to close out this video, uh, I am going to demonstrate the Cortana thing. Now, one thing I'm gonna tell you is the Hey Cortana feature just doesn't work for me very well. In fact, it doesn't work at all, and I don't know why, because I tried with this microphone, I tried with this headset microphone, and it just doesn't work, and I, I don't understand why. But you can simply open up Cortana if you have it already, open up Cortana, you can see that I've been testing it out already and it just doesn't work. It doesn't understand things, but I'll try it out and see if it works. So let's see. Find recent documents. Find recent Excel documents. So you see that it could do the Excel files. Let's see if it can do PowerPoint. Find recent PowerPoint files. So you can see that worked as well. And then the last thing I'm gonna test is the actual Word documents. Find recent Word documents. So you can see, there you go, the major three apps that I guess prosumers are gonna use, Excel, PowerPoint, Excel, it can find those recent documents. Now let's see if it can find recent PDFs. Find recent PDFs. So you can see it's being dumb and it can't understand that PDFs, even though it wrote it in capitals, it doesn't get it and it says that it's talking about Microsoft to-do list, which makes no sense. Let's try it again. Find recent PDFs. So now you can see that it brought up the PDFs for some reason. And the difference here is that it added apostrophe S at the end versus just normal. So I don't, I don't get it what the difference is in terms of it couldn't do it. It was pretty horrible at that simple thing. The simple command right there. The, the four things that 
um, you probably use this for that you couldn't do. Now, the one thing I'll tell you right now is it cannot open up any other file type, whether it's MP3s or anything like that. Only thing it can do is find MP. It can't find MP3s. It can open up music, obviously, but it can't find MP3s. So, like, if I ask it to open up, find my recent MP3s, it won't work. So let's take a look. Find my recent MP3s. So you can see right there, for some reason, it just wants to bring up Microsoft to do for no reason, even though I'm saying MP3s. And even when I say recent music, let's see if what, let's see what happens if I bring up recent music. Find my recent music. So as you can see, you can't find pretty much any other file type. I've tried a few other ones and it just wouldn't work. I try to do Premiere files, Photoshop files, and things like that, and it just wouldn't work. Maybe it's just me or maybe it's uh, other people are finding it out too, but that's essentially the feature uh, is finding files. You can do Microsoft PowerPoint, Excel, Power, file, Excel, PowerPoint, and documents such as Word documents and PDFs. And that's about it that I could get it to do. I couldn't get it to do anything else. Um, it still works fine in terms of opening programs and asking the weather and things like that, setting timers and adding things to your to-do list. Other than that, it can't really do it. So I'm kind of disappointed in that, but it is in preview. So hopefully by the time it's in full release, they'll have improved this functionality a little better. It definitely, definitely needs testing, um, but they have a lot of work to do. But yeah, that was it. That's a quick video on Microsoft Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 20270 or 2270. You can take it out, take a look at it now if you're on the dev channel. Um, if you want to take a look at it, you have to sign up for the Windows Insider program, which I'll have a link for below. And as always, my name is Kwaku, and if you need to reach me, I'm on Twitter, Next Windows, NXT Windows, and you can reach me here. Just leave a comment in the comment section below. And that's it. Take care, everybody.